Hi, I'm Dave of Urban Astro, and today I'm going to do an unboxing video of a Quieter 3 Mini PC. As many of you probably already know, or probably already do, um, you probably use a Mini PC to control your telescope. And the folks over at Quieter at Melee have just come out with a new uh, version of their mini PC. And I really like their mini PCs. They generally, uh, they're, they're really light. They're really, really thin, as you will see. Um, and they're feature packed, which makes it really kind of awesome. Um, so, I currently have a Quieter 2 that is on my existing rig and I really want to move over to the Quieter 3 and basically I, I want separate things set up um, on my scopes so I'm not constantly having to move cabling and wiring from one rig to another rig but I can just move a rig up, slip on my imaging train and away I go and that's where I'm kind of heading towards uh, the only things that will be shared between the two rigs will be um, my guide scope which I can easily take off of one rig and move over to the other rig and the imaging train itself which is my rotator and my uh, filter wheel and camera so those things I can just pull out, unhook the cables, move it over to the new rig, hook it all in, connect another set of cables, and it's done. So that's kind of where I'm heading, and, and to do that, I really kind of wanted to have um, another little mini PC that I could set up for the new rig, which in this case is the new um, Dobsonian. And because part of my thinking, not because, but just part of my thinking, um, was this guy, which makes this, what makes this really nice, is that you can also put in one of these guys. And this is a PCIe card. And this happens to be a 512 gigabyte uh, PCIe card. I currently have a 256 gigabyte in my existing um, setup, but I figure that with a Newtonian, I'm gonna be uh, taking more exposures because the exposure time is gonna be shorter because it's an F4 system and not an F6. And so I'm gonna be capturing a whole lot more light a whole lot more quickly, and I don't want to overexpose my images, which means I'm gonna need more storage. And so, the 512 card. So this Quieter 3 comes with, uh, and I'm reading the product description here, it comes with Windows 11 Professional OS. Um, it comes with an Intel Celeron processor as an N5105. H, uh, Intel's uh, UHD graphics built on board. It's got 8 gigs of uh, DDR4. It comes with its own 256 gigabyte internal storage, which is enough to run. It's enough to put um, the OS and Nina and all the other software that I'm going to need to run. And again, I'll put this guy here in for all my image acquisition and all my logs. Um, it comes with Wi-Fi 6. Um, gigabit Ethernet. It has four USB 3 ports and it has uh, two HDMI 2 ports. It's got an audio jack port and it has an expansion for one of these guys, an M2, which is what this is, which will slide right on in. And it also has a micro SD card slot. So if you wanted to increase yet even more storage, you could just use the micro SD. 
And I thought of using a micro SD. I've got a 256 um, gigabyte micro SD card. And I thought of maybe I could uh, have my images copied over to that and then I can uh, sneaker net it, um, which is the old fashioned term for just hand carrying it over to um, the new, um, over to my workstation or the copy over the files, but I have it set up so that they're copied automatically. All right, enough of the specs. Basically, this is a well-abled mini PC, uh, which will adequately run my system. So let's get to the unboxing here so that I can put in the SD card. I mean, not the SD, but the M3 card, the um, PCIe M2 card. And I'll have put the price up over here of what it is currently out at Amazon, which is where I get it from. Um, Amazon has these things, and they come in slightly different specifications, so depending on what you're looking for, you can get what you want. always have trouble getting into these packages. Okay. So first thing you get, which is useful or maybe not useful, is the instructions, which generally tends to be not much. Basically telling you where all the ports are and how to plug it in. And then the little mini PC itself, which doesn't weigh that much. It's probably maybe about four ounces, maybe five ounces, probably not even that. Um, but you can see here, here's three USB ports. And then a fourth USB port is right around the corner here. And then you got your two HDMIs and then your network and this one has a 12 volt, 2 amp um, USB socket right there. So you, if you're going to run this thing um, on your telescope off of like a power box or something like that, you're going to need to have a USB um, 3 end and the other end being the, uh, what's it, 2.5. Um, connector for your power box. So anyways, so there's the actual PC itself. And it runs Windows 11 Pro. So it automatically has uh, remote functionality built into it, which is for me the big thing um, because I can just use Windows um, RPC uh, remote protocol in order to control it and here's something that I will not use but this is just merely a um, mounting bracket because a lot of these are mounted on the back of TVs and they're used as media PCs um, if you're overseas and you want to use the power supply which is right here you have a choice of uh, European standard or the American standard plug. And here's the uh, 12 volt power it comes with. So if you wanted to use 12 volt power, you have that option. And then this. This is for the card here. This goes on the back. It's for a heat sink. So we'll keep that out. The rest of this though, we can put back into the box because, well, I'm not gonna basically need it. Um, I'll keep the power out so that I can power this thing up when I go to configure it. So it just clicks in. 
like so. It just those little slots right here and little nubs right there and it just goes down into that slot and then you just slide it on and it locks. So that will be the uh, power when we get to get to that point. So put that back, put this back because we're not going to need it. this card figure out how to open this card get it ready there we go get out of this packaging so now we got the card getting into these things is pretty straightforward if you go here to the back, there are four screws at each corner. They're Phillips. And I've got my Phillips screwdriver here. And it's just a matter of just opening this thing up. And what I like about these two is that they, on the power, um, the power button, which is right here, um, it's red when it's powered off and it turns blue when it's booted up. So you can look quickly and see what state it is in whether or not it's booted or not so whether or not it's got power going to it or not um, shows up pretty quickly uh, so there we go there's the back cover and here are the insides it's pretty straightforward um, the NVMe card goes right into here. And right here, there's already a screw there. So I can just take that screw out. Like I say, this is pretty straightforward operation here. It doesn't take much. And you know, I'm looking at this and I'm not sure why I needed that heat sink because it's not leaning against anything. I thought it was going to lay flat onto something, but it's not. So I don't think I'm going to need that and I'm just going to take that off. Don't need it. So I'm going to take my card here and just pop it in and then take my screw screw down at the other end and there we go and that's really it and now I'm actually going to be ready here to actually configure this puppy put the lid back on so now I have a functioning mini PC with Windows 11 professional and I'll do another video of me configuring it and setting it up walking through that particular process and installing all the different software that needs to be installed and then testing everything to make sure that everything tests. Um, and configuring everything so that everything is configured. So there's a lot of work left to do to get this thing ready for prime time. So there we go. So that's the Quieter 3 Mini PC. Like I say, it's probably about maybe four ounces in total weight. It's not really that heavy. It's pretty light. If you found this at all interesting, um, and I find unboxing videos basically to be kind of boring, but it's kind of nice to see so you kind of have some idea as to what you're going to be getting. Um, so I, I know they have some value. 
Um, so anyways, if you found this interesting and or of value, just go ahead and hit the click and subscribe down below. And uh, until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.